Uh, data virtualization is a technology that allows us to uh, uh, make it possible for an application to access multiple data stores uh, and see those data stores as just one logical database. Uh, so normally if an application has to access multiple databases it has to deal with all the different languages, it has to deal with the different APIs, uh, all the, uh, the aspects with respect to data structures. If I bring in a data virtualization layer for the application, life is so much easier. It sees one integrated database, one API, one language. Uh, uh, plus, uh, if you do this, uh, other applications can reuse that same technology. Uh, so you get sort of like a shared environment. Uh, we define all that integration at once and that's it. I think that's sort of, in a nutshell, what data virtualization is. It's, it's agility. Uh, if I look at it from a business perspective, uh, uh, what we now see in a lot of uh, IT environments, uh, especially uh, the BI kind of environments, is that uh, it's sometimes hard to implement new reports, uh, uh, new applications. Uh, uh, it's just hard because these architects are complex. If we bring in data virtualization, we can make life easier. Uh, we can simplify our architectures. Therefore, if the business comes up with new requirements, new reports, new applications, it is easier easier to implement. Uh, so uh, in a changing world, uh, the world for business is changing, for a changing world yeah, agility is what they want and data virtualization can deliver yeah, a s some form of agility to them. Uh, and in a way for the IT department it's sort of the same thing, it allows them to respond yeah, quicker yeah, to what the business is asking and I think today, and we all know this, this is what, what we all need. So it, it's in a nutshell it is agility for both sides. One of the biggest trends is, is that, this, that the technology is now being adopted. Uh, it has taken the vendors, it has taken the analysts a few years to get the message across, but what we're seeing is that the, the market is adopting this technology slowly. Uh, some are only looking at it, some are studying it, some are doing POCs, but there are companies using the technology today. I think that's, that's the biggest trend. It has arrived. The technology is mature. If you look at the, the technology itself, what, what, what probably the trend is going to be is that the products have to uh, uh, add more functionality that support the whole development process. Not just being a runtime environment, but also support data modeling, business glossaries and so on. I think that's going to be the trend for the coming years. Uh, the future of data virtualization is probably a, a long list of things. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, what we the, the data virtualization products have to support all these new data sources that are being released at a uh, probably Hadoop and NoSQL kind data stores are being the most popular ones. Uh, uh, so they have to be s supported by these products. Uh, uh, what I already indicated in the uh, in the previous question is uh, the support for a wider set of functionality support to support the modelers, the data modelers, uh, the business users. Uh, so these products in a way have to grow in, in various areas uh, and I think that's what the future is going to be uh, going to look like. Uh, in addition they have to do their standard stuff like make the products faster, more scalable, higher availability levels, but they have to become wider with respect to functionality. Well, with, with technology such as data virtualization, it can be quite hard uh, to determine financially, for example, what this could mean for their, for their organizations. Uh, um, you have to do that. Of course, you have to try and find out, well, where can I save money? Uh, what's the benefit of more uh, agility to my organization? But what one of our customers did was, and I thought it was very interesting, is that they looked back. They looked back at some of the projects that they had realized the last two years and they thought about, well, if we had had data virtualization, uh, how would we have implemented with that technology and then how much um, money would we have saved? Now, of course, you're not going to save that money anymore, but it makes it more down to earth. It makes it cl more clear you know, what data virtualization could mean. And that will be a recommendation to organizations who play with this, who want to play with this. Also look back. Uh, and see what it could mean to your organization, or could have meant to your organization.